Good morning, Atlantis. This is Elton John. We wish you much success on your mission and a huge thank you to all the men and women at NASA who worked on the shuttle for the last three decades. Hey, good morning, Houston. Elton John, music legend. Wow, that is absolutely fantastic. We are absolutely honored that you took the time to uh, join the crew this morning and wake us up. We've invited the Space Station crew over here. We were all over uh, to listen to the occasion. You know, I think it just illustrates the far-reaching, uh, both uh, both legendary 30 years of shuttle flight and also the amount of people globally that have been affected by the shuttle program itself. Um, thank you so much, uh, Elton, for taking again the time to, to join us this morning. And it's great to be here, great to be in space. Atlantis Houston, we agree with you 100%. And it's great to be with you working for another day. The uh, shuttle crew, Commander Chris Ferguson, Pilot Doug Hurley, and Mission Specialists Sandy Magnus and Rex Walheim are emerging from a post-sleep period in which they've had an opportunity to review their morning messages, get a bite to eat, and gear up for a busy day of transfer work. Transfer is the name of the game today, as it will be for the next several days, as the crew presses ahead to complete the transfer of almost five tons of supplies from Raffaello to the International Space Station that will help fortify the complex for the next 12 months. Atlantis ISS, this is WBNG TV. When you're up there, is it all work and no play, or do you get some downtime to enjoy yourselves on this final mission? Well, we haven't had much downtime yet, but we're working really hard to try and get ahead a bit. So when we get our half day off, we can actually take the day off and, and look out the window. The views from the cupola are truly spectacular, and that's probably where you'll find us on flight day eight when we have our time off. What advice do you have for kids wanting to get into NASA and get in the field? Well, I think our advice would be just to uh, work really hard in school, especially in uh, science and math, because that's very, very important in, uh, in this business. And, uh, and then keep after your dreams. You never know. Uh, you know, I dreamed of uh, becoming uh, an astronaut a long time ago. I never really thought it was possible, but I kept after it. And, uh, and sure enough, we were able to. And I think a lot of us have those stories. It just takes a lot of persistence, a lot of hard work. Atlantis ISS, this is KGO TV. Commander Ferguson, if I could start with you, uh, I guess uh, today would be, oh, the glory of being an astronaut. You get to move stuff into the uh, International Space Station and, and drag the garbage out. Uh, not the most glorious day, but the work that has to be done. <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you, you pretty much hit the nail on the head there. That is exactly what we're doing. Uh, we have, uh, we have a, lot of, a lot of stuff we need to supply the International Space Station with to sustain them for about a year. So uh, a lot of it's food, a lot of it's clothing, a lot of it is spare parts. And uh, hauling out in the, uh, in the other direction, I wouldn't call it garbage. It's, it's mostly broken things. It's things that need to go back to the ground. They want to take a look at it. They want to know why it failed so they can make, make it better the next time they send it up. Uh, Pilot Hurley, a, a question for you, if I could. Uh, America is watching this space shuttle mission more intensely than any in years, many years. Uh, is, is the historic aspect of this mission on your minds? How do you go about your day with that present? Uh, to be real honest with you, I don't think it is. We, uh, you know, I think most of us, our whole lives, have been very focused and goal-oriented, and uh, this is just one more of those things that we're doing. You know, we're so focused on the task you're doing that particular minute or that particular hour, and then, you know, task after task, and, uh, you know, EVA that we did yesterday and transfer that we're doing today, you know, it keeps us so focused that we, we tend not to, I think, look at the big picture as much, and I, and I think we're kind of all telling ourselves that, you know, we'll have time to kind of reflect on this, uh, this whole event, this whole happening that, we, that we've gone through for the last nine months uh, and, and hopefully be able to share it and articulate it with everybody else.